Hey, David Corsi here, California, Philippines, Bearcats. How are you guys doing? We're in Cebu now. Pretty excited. Almost home. Another 18 days. We are stuck here. It's like a chess game in the Philippines trying to figure out where to go next. So we're here, and then we're in Mobile for a week, and then we're back here in uh, Mactown, Utah, which is beautiful. Uh, I'll show you a quick view. It's a little sunny and bright, but I'll show it to you anyways. You can see the oceans over there. So I have a beautiful view, uh, but I can't show that view because it's the, the sun's too bright. So anyways, John Wooden, vlog number 17, and it's about two things. Number one, it's a very simple game, and he never talked about winning. So first, let's talk about the first one. Basketball, basketball is a very simple game, people. We make it way too complicated. John Wooden, the greatest coach of all time, believed in one, two, three. Three simple things that he taught all his teams. Very simple. One, conditioning. You have to be in shape. You have to be in physical shape mental shape and moral frame of mind shape in order to last and outlast the team uh, to the end of the game. So he was a conditioning guy. Everything was about conditioning. Number two, he believed in fundamentals. He believed that you had to execute fundamentals to the point that it was something you didn't even think about anymore. Sort of like brushing your teeth. You don't think about, should I use my right hand, left hand? Where should I start? You just brush your teeth, it's, it's normal. And he believed that, that that was the same thing with fundamentals. And he said the way you achieve that is through repetition, over and over and over again, doing the same things. And he believed highly in fundamentals. And number three, the most important one, he believed in team spirit. He believed in team spirit. He believed that every player should sacrifice their own personal glory for the team. All for one and one for all. He said every time he said it, it still gives him chills down his back. Boy, how the games change. Every player should sacrifice their own personal glory for the team. You don't see that anymore, which is so sad. If you want to be a great team, sacrifice your personal glory for the team. So important. He believed in team spirit was everything. Passion. Playing with passion. Doing everything with passion caring more about your teammates than you and living a selfless life on and off the court. And that's what the game's missing today. The game, in, because of Instagram, because of club teams, because of the NBA, it's all went out the window. Sacrifice your personal glory for the good of the team. Wow. Just imagine how great your team would be if you committed to that. Committed to that. So I would encourage you to commit to that. The second thing I want to talk about is he never talked about winning. In fact, to the point where he never even brought the other team up as they prepared for him. Players said it was almost like a joke. They had to go look at the bulletin board before the game to figure out who they were playing because John would never even mention the name of the other team. He never talked about winning. He never talked about winning. And that's because his dad taught him, son, don't worry about what everybody else is doing and how good they are. You be the best that you can be. Focus on you. Focus on your team. Focus on each other. Don't focus on what the competition is doing. Be the best you can be. Be better. Strive to be the best at your profession. Strive to be the best at your skills, trying to be the best in whatever you do. And so he never talked about winning. Never once talked about winning. So many people on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube talk about wins. And I remember when I first started club, going to this guy's website, talk about we have 1,342 wins and 50 losses in our club or something. All about winning or losing. Long-term success, it doesn't work. Talk about being better, being the best. And you know what? If you do that, the scoreboard will take care of itself. 
You love that. I would always tell my players, if we win the turnover battle and the rebound battle during the game, you're going to love that scoreboard. If we even win the turnover battle, if you have less than 14 turnovers, you're going to love that scoreboard. I never talked about winning. Never talked about we, But we live in such a society that everybody's judged by winning or losing, and that's it. But they never talked about it. Never talk. And I would encourage you as much as you can. I know it's hard. I know it's hard today in the world of basketball we live in to not talk about winning or losing. But I would talk about it as little as you can. Even us at the website, for years, I, I did not want to put up there our champions, the California Bearcats site. And I got so much flack on that. And so now we, we do put up, when teams win, we put them on our, put them in our gallery. But, but that was never the goal. The goal was not to do that. It, it was the goal is, was to get, to be the best you can be. And to get kids, our goal is always to have fun, do your best, work hard. And the most important thing is get ready for high school and college basketball. Not winning, not losing. In fact, you shouldn't even count your losses or your wins until you get, until you can get your name in a newspaper. Because it doesn't mean anything anyways. It only counts when you can get your name in a newspaper. Start counting them then. I don't remember what my record was in 8th grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, senior year. I, I remember a couple of colleges, our records. That's it. So, so stop talking about winning and losing, coaches. Talk about getting better. Talk about being fundamentally sound. Talk about let's get in shape. Talk about let's be a team. Let's let's sacrifice our personal glory for the team. For the team. So important. Such great words of wisdom. Simple game. Simple aspects. We make it so tough. In fact, a lot of people said that John Wooden was never known as a strategic, you know, kind of guy. He, he, nobody ever saw him like that. He was a very pyramid of success and everything about it was very simple. It's a very simple game. Life is very simple. We make it so tough. Keep it simple. Keep your coaching simple. Focus on what's important. Get your kids in shape. Teach them the fundamentals of the game and get them to sacrifice personal glory for the team, team spirit, and play with passion. Play with love for the game. I love you guys. Thanks for your prayers. Thanks for your support. God bless you. And I hope this helps you in coaching basketball and coaching life. Go Bearcats! Hey guys, Coach Corsi here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, and thanks for being a part of this vision for the future to impact our youth and the next generation. God bless you and go Bearcats.